Good morning, my dear students. Today we will study about part number two of this chapter, conventional sources of energy. Right. So first, we will understand about what do you mean by energy, or what do you understand by power. Both are equally the same. So let's see the meaning of it. Energy is defined as the ability or the capacity to do work. Energy lights our cities, powers our vehicles, and runs machineries in the factory. It also helps us in cooking our food, playing our music, etc. Right? It happens the same with all of us. Energy can be generated from fuel, minerals like coal, petroleum, natural gas, uranium from electricity and these are classified into conventional and non-conventional as you can see in this flow chart the conventional sources of energy is classified into further two commercial and non-commercial commercial is coal petroleum electricity that means payable and non-commercial firewood dried dung etc we will study about non-conventional sources of energy in the next video so conventional sources of energy we will begin with coal then petroleum then natural gas and electricity so first understand the meaning of conventional energy these sources of energy are also called non-renewable these sources of energy are limited quantity and they are classified as commercial and non-commercial now the meaning of commercial these are Coal, petroleum and electricity, these are called commercial because they have a price and consumer has to pay the price to purchase these products or the things. Now, we will understand what do you mean by fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are fuels formed by natural process such as decomposition. Decomposition is done by decomposers of buried dead or organisms. Fossil fuel contains high percentage of carbon. Now, coal, petroleum and natural gas are considered non-renewable. Why? Because they cannot be replenished in a short period of time. They take billions of years to form. So that's why these are called fossil fuels. Okay, so moving on to the first one that is our coal. Coal is also called a fossil fuel because it was formed from the remains of vegetation that grew as long as 400 million years ago. It is also known as buried sunshine. Why? Because the plants which formed coal captured the energy from the sun with the process of photosynthesis. Okay. Coal is a non-renewable source of energy, it is a fossil fuel and buried deep inside the earth. That's why it is also known as the buried sunshine. And in India, coal is the most abundant, that means available in large quantities. Okay, there are three types of coal, lignite, bituminous, anthracite anthracite is a very high quality of hard coal okay and it is found in Godavari, Mahanadi etc now the second one that is petroleum petroleum is formed from the compression of animals and plant remains over millions of years petroleum has to be drilled for because it is usually located deep below the earth's surface and is then refined to produce a number of different products including gasoline heavy fuel oil and diesel fuel all these are made up from petroleum 63% of petroleum comes from Mumbai, 18% from Gujarat, and 16% from Assam's Big Boy. Okay, petroleum refineries act as the industries for our fertilizers, synthetic materials, etc. Now, the crude oil is also known as petroleum in a liquid fossil fuel formed from millions of years of heat and pressure being applied to layers of sand and silt. Now, this is the process to make the crude oil. Okay, it's uh, easy to get out from the ground than coal. 
as it can flow along pipes this also makes it cheaper to transport now crude oil is called petroleum and often referred to as black coal so why is it known as black coal because its availability is minimum but demand is more petroleum products are extracted from crude oil which is black in color and its economic value is very high that's why it is known as black coal now natural gas our third conventional source of energy it is the purest form is pure methane but before it is refined it also contains some amount of ethane and propane butane and carbon dioxide okay uh, it is colorless and odorless it does not give any smell but to add the smell so that we can realize that it is leaking the companies add rotten ag to enable customers to detect the natural gas leak so that we can verify yes the gas is leaking so that's why they add the smell of rotten ag okay natural gas is a very environment friendly and we can use it in in the form of cng and these are the famous companies that uh, make the natural gas ongc reliance industries limited in rajasthan okay now our last part that is electricity electricity is generated mainly in two ways by running water which drives hydro turbines to generate hydroelectricity and by burning other fuels such as coal petroleum and natural gas to drive turbines to produce thermal power these are the two ways to make the electricity one is hydro and another one is thermal hydro is generated by fast flowing water which is renewable resource and thermal electricity is generated by using coal petroleum and natural gas now hydro electricity having multi purpose projects like in bhakra nangal and the uh, kopeli hydro project and thermal they there are over 310 thermal power plants in india i hope you are able to understand watch it again like comment and subscribe my video thank you everyone okay